ZenkaiCon 2019, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. ZenkaiCon is a multi-genre convention held from March 22nd through 24th, 2019 at the Lancaster County Convention Center in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I have a conflict of interest notification. I was a featured panelist again this year. And ZenkaiCon made the move back to their original month of March. Let's see how they did. For the good, the future hotel expansion continues, and the 100 rooms ZenkaiCon very badly needs are almost done. The hotel continues to be really good, had an easy check-in, the staff were great. Overall, this hotel is one of the easiest convention hotels I've ever had to deal with. The staff at ZenkaiCon again were great this year. They were veteran staff, they're very, very competent. Every dealing I had with them was extremely good this year. They're very easy to work with, and just an extremely professional group. Sketch.org keeps getting better. For a while it was pretty rough, but now it's reasonably reliable. One thing I did notice this year, the people that thought they would attend your panel, those numbers end up being pretty accurate to actual attendance, which was useful. For the bad, what was absolutely terrible was Todd Habercorn Presents Show and Tell with Todd. It was one of the worst guest panels I've ever seen. It was lazy, pointless, and it felt like Todd had a complete lack of energy. Make note, I like Todd, but I don't care about elephants in game reviews. It was so pointless, I walked out at the half-hour mark. I've done a lot of panels in my time, and if this was a fellow panelist, I'd actually pull them aside and ask them what kind of the goal was, what they were hoping for. I'd almost have to have a talk with them because of how this panel went. I would have preferred to see this panel time be given to another event, or another panelist, or maybe some new panelist, because at least that product would have had substance. You know, give someone else a chance. Todd's panel was absolutely trash. For the ugly, what should have been better? The lobby had a lot of problems this year, and a lot of that was due to the construction, so next year will probably not be an issue. The way the lobby was set up, it was now the restaurant. Easily half of the restaurant could have been converted back to seating, and the restaurant would have probably lost almost nothing. The restaurant was almost never filled during the convention, and it seemed like a massive waste of space. The snack bar hours need to be a little bit better. They need to open a little earlier and close a little later. I had friends looking for food, and by the time they were down there, it was closed. I can't even tell you what the snack bar hours were in the lobby. TELUS was again a problem child. They have completely changed the layout. It actually isn't any better. From a panelist's perspective, it's extremely difficult to panel in there. It's very hard to read the crowd. The stage is actually up too high. I unfortunately got to see a fellow panelist not do well in there. Some of that was their laptop issues, but it just seems that room is really not designed for panels. And in general, I thought the 18 plus content of the con was lacking very much this year. Particularly Saturday night, roughly after 7.30, there was really nothing to do in my opinion. I actually had a lot of free time on my hands. Friday night was not much better. I'd like to see them relook at the 18 plus content for next year. Overall, it was another good year for the convention, which isn't a surprise to anyone. They are an excellent staff, they run an excellent convention, they usually have some pretty good guests, some really good panels, and it's not a shocker that there's nothing left to add here. I'm giving the convention a B, it was another good year. This convention is a standard bearer of 5,000 attendee conventions. Other events should look at it, see what they're doing right, use those ideas, because ZenkaiCon gets a lot of things right. Thanks for watching.